I recently posted a video where I shared my experience cloning my voice using Descript's Overdub AI voiceover tool. Even though I only trained it with 30 minutes of my voice, the results were pretty impressive. Have a listen. Instead of a red wheelbarrow, what if it's a Ford F-150 Lightning? And instead of white chickens, what if it's velociraptors? So much depends upon a Ford F-150 Lightning glazed with rainwater beside the white velociraptors. Well, that sounded a lot like me. However, for reading longer passages, the audio got a bit scratchy. It seems like every architecturally minded genius eventually takes on the mental exercise of designing a perfect community, but none has really succeeded. I wondered if this was because I'd only trained it with 30 minutes of my voice and if it might improve with more training. Descript recently unlocked a feature allowing regular users to use existing audio to train the AI. So I pulled together almost eight hours of previous recordings I'd made and uploaded them to Descript. I figure anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Once it was done processing, I had a new and improved clone of my voice. Let's see how it compares to the original. You might want to put on headphones so you can hear the differences clearly. The original machine had a base plate of prefabulated amulite, surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two main spurving bearings were in a direct line with the panometric fan. The original machine had a base plate of prefabulated amulite, surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two main spurving bearings were in a direct line with the panometric fan. As you can hear, the version with 8 hours of training is way better than the version with 30 minutes of training. And in case you haven't been able to tell already, I'm using this voiceover tool for this entire video. I've just typed out the text I wanted to say, and Descript's Overdub technology does the rest. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.